Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to episode 3 of the longest journey Last time we met a weird guy who gave our friend a note That we should go and meet him somewhere uh, cryptic But for that our friend invited us to go to a lunch or dinner or something Either way we're going there right now uh, This is the cafe, this doesn't look like it but this is where we work Let's look around Rusty pipes, they're hundreds of years old Installed way back when Venice was an industrial area See, I know some local history. I didn't say you didn't. Don't sass me, Missy. Ooh, lovers. Can I look at them? I think people should have the good sense to do that kind of stuff behind closed doors. At least as long as I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, spoken like a true single woman. Ooh, mystery door. I don't think I've ever seen anybody pass through that door. Mm -hmm. Isn't that peculiar? I guess. And if I was Nancy Drew, I might actually care. <laughs> uh, well, thankfully, we're not Nancy Drew. We're not here to solve mysteries. Oh, hey, Charlie. This is Charlie, one of our roommates. Hi, Charlie. April. Nice to see you, girl. Nice to see you, dude. You know, I came to wake you this morning, but you had already left. Early bird catches the worm. Please stay out of my room. No, early bird finishes the damn painting on time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh good, he's gonna look at me, okay. Have you seen Cortez? Have you seen Cortez around? As a matter of fact, I have. And he was asking for you. I know, I know. Uh, What do you know? Do you know where he was going? Do you know where he was going? No. But he seemed interested in that poster next to the jukebox. Okay. They put it up earlier today. Good, so we should look at the poster. Do you have any idea where the kids would be able to visualize their dreams? Do you have any idea where kids would be able to, um, visualize their dreams? Maybe in therapy? <laughs> I don't think that's it, Charlie. Yeah, I don't think so. Then so. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure the poster will give us. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks. Anytime, April. Uh, well, we could ask him a bunch of stuff, but that's I a lot of talking. I have to get going, Charlie. Take care, all right? See ya, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, remember, Charlie. you're supposed to get paid today. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Stan's not going to remember unless I know, I know, you I know. bug him about I know. it. I know, yes. Okay, let's go and meet this fat fuck. Hey, you dumb son of a bitch that never wants to pay me. First, let's look at our diary and take our time card out. Hey, it's my time <laughs> yeah. sheet from the cafe. I completely forgot I put it in here. Good thing I found it because I'm broke. Yep, yep, and we need that to get paid. Let's talk to this fat ass. What you doing here? I work here. I want my I, money. You ain't working this afternoon, no. are you? I don't want my employees work 24 hours a day. Go, get sleep. You go get sleep. I want but money. I'm just... Damn woman, do I have to babysit you? Yes, it's yes nice you do. It's nice to see you too, Stanley. No, I'm not working today. I just came by to... Oh, don't ever say those two words when I'm around. I don't think my horse can take it. You? And nice? <laughs> That's funny. No. Working and not. Don't use those two words in the same sentence. Well, okay then, give Damn, me money. I get creeps even when I say them. I'd like to get paid. I'd like to get paid. Damn woman, don't you know I got a migraine already? Paid? God damn it. Why'd they have to make that word sound so obscene? It's not obscene, you're just a cheap Listen, bastard. Why don't you leave old Stan alone, huh? You make me feel a whole hell of a lot better. Choo, choo, be good, mm, little girl. No, hmm? no, no, you give me my money. I'd still like to get paid. I'd still like to get paid, though. Mighty man, our woman. You really know how to rub it in. God damn it. Yeah, all right. Got your timesheet? Yes, I do. Yes? 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 Let's see it. God damn, you think she... I'm gonna take your word for a woman? <sighs> Here's my timesheet, you dumb son of a bitch. Here you are, my timesheet. Don't say that word too loud, sweetheart. You're killing me. Let's see. What is this? 
Huh? Yes, 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 you did. You no, did sign it. No, no, no. Did I sign this? What I thinking? I don't know what you're thinking. So? I know I want my money. At least it doesn't look like it's been forged. Uh, thanks. Okay, now pay me. Thanks? Where's my money? Yeah, where's my money? Oh, you ain't getting it now. No. Next week, no, 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 I no. I write no. down this amount in my ledger. No, 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 don't no, 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 no. Head from it. Oh, no, no, fuck you, fuck you. Forget this, I quit. Forget that, I quit. You're quitting? Mm-hmm. You, you my money, I quit. quit. You work for me. <laughs> Nobody quits this job, honey. Well, pay me or I quit. I can quit. And I'm quitting, I quit. Damn, woman, you know how hard it is to find people to take a crappy job like this one? I need you. Harder than it is for you to pay me? Just as much as you need the money? All right, Jesus, I give you your damn money. What was it, 50 bucks? Nope, 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 a lot more. $375, Stanley, cash. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure, cash. 300 Are you sure? Yep. I pay you guys way too much. All right, give me your CC. Uh -huh. CC is a cash card or basically a credit card in this game. Thank you for the money. Thank you, Stanley. Fine, sure, whatever. Yeah, whatever, as long as hey, you pay me. What? Just, I mean it. Yes. You free tonight? Maybe. Wanna pull a shift? Sandra. She out sick and I need a replacement hmm. trap though. How about it? Let's see. Yeah, I need the money. Yeah, I need the money. Great, hon. I'll see you here later. Yep. Don't forget. Don't worry, I won't forget. Okay, let's look at the poster. Roma Gallery presents Growing Pains. An exhibition by and for kids and teenagers. Okay, that sounds like Could a place this I should be what go. Cortez was talking about? Obviously it was. Where kids visualize their dreams? Mm -hmm. Yep. Give me I think tickets. this may be it. Where's the Roma Gallery located? Oh, it's here, the tickets. Uh, let's look at this ticket. Complimentary student pass. Yep. Cool. I like it. I never say no to a complimentary <laughs> ticket. Never say anything to anything free. Can I take another it's one? It's a poster no, ad okay. for an exhibition called... Gr okay, okay. Uh, hey, Emma. Settle this one for us, April. When did Roin Dale release Sidetracked? I don't give a fuck. Oh four, right after the Morning Star exile, those sons of bitches. With okay. blood on their boots. Yeah. <laughs> Told you so, Marcus. This guy looks like a GTA 3 character. You said oh three. I was closer than you. This poster looks like a seven, penis. And you call yourself a fan. Uh, I don't. Hipsters. Did you speak with Zach today? Uh, Why? yeah. He was upset. Called you a stuck-up bitch. She's a dumb asshole. He what? You gotta be kidding me. I wasn't even that rude to him. He thinks so. So that even if you came crawling to his door, he wouldn't give you the time of day. Said you called him an asshole. Well, he's an asshole, so what? Oh, God. I really don't know when to shut my mouth, do I? No, it's right. He was an asshole. Who cares? It's Zach. He hates you yeah, so, so what? No Fuck great him. loss. That's true. Mm-hmm. So, what else is going on? What are you doing this afternoon? I'm gonna go see Cortez. Actually, I came by to see if I could find Cortez. What's with you and this guy? You'd rather spend time with him than I us? I don't know, she just really wants to see him. I have to, to find out him. what the message means. Yeah. Don't look at me. I don't know anything except what I already told you. I know, Ask I know, Charlie. I know. He spoke I know, with Cortez I already earlier. spoken to him. Well, I gotta run. I gotta run. See you around, stranger. See ya. Bitch. Okay, uh, let's take some bread, cause I might be hungry. Mmm, bread. Can I eat it? I'm not particularly. Okay, good. okay, okay. Okay, let's see now. Anything else I should do here? Mark, can I talk to Marcus? That's my, well, Emma's friend, really, Marcus. He's a Vava student as well. It looks like a mafia leader. Okay, let's get out of here and go to the subway. Since I know where I'm going now. See ya, Charlie. Doom, doo -doo -doom, doom, 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 doom. Subway was this way. Ooh, hey, punks. Man, those guys are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited in Newport? No, that sucks. 
Let's go to the subway. Hey, hey, lady. Nope, can talk to her. Trash. Nope, can I talk? Ooh, what's this? No, I don't want to go to the park. Trash. Nope. Okay, let's go to the subway. Go faster, please. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Uh oh. I have to get scanned. Jumping gates in the Newport subway is a corporate offense liable to get me five years behind bars. If oh. lucky. Okay. Credit card and let's use it on the machine. Oh wait. Uh gene scanner, let's use it. Uh I'll get a single. I'll get a weekly pass. Oh, okay. Just in case. Why give me the option? Uh, okay. Let's see. Press button, scan card, get scanned, go through. Okay. Hey, creepy camera. It's a small camera. Here you go. The future, ladies and gentlemen. Fifteen dollars subtracted from cash card. That's, you are that's now not free bad for the week's pass. All Metro Line subways for exactly one week. Thank you. And remember, genetic forgery is a federal crime. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, Keep I know. your genes clean. I don't Don't even know how I would do that. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, quick, 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 quick. I'm not getting on the train until I know I, exactly I know where, where I'm going. going. It's the address. The gallery yeah, yeah. is located near the Watertown Bridge. Yes, I know where I'm going. It's all the way over in West Venice, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna have to catch the Metro Line subway. I know, I was going there. Quick, damn it, I missed it. Okay. <sighs> hey, Mr. Firefighter. Or what? Oh, okay, good, another one. <laughs> I wish subways were this fast in life. Thank you. Uh, she said we're supposed to go to West West Venice. Hey, Cap. Uh, this guy looks like fat bastard from Most Empowered. Uh, oh, screen. The screen really is ubiquitous. There's no escape anywhere. It's like a war scene or something. Anyway, we're going to West Venice. Hey, lady. Nope. Uh, hey, guy. Nope. Hey, woman. Another victim of Amethyn. No, uh, Amethyn is like weed or cocaine, I guess. Poor guy's drugged out on Amethyn. They say the first motor function to suffer is always rhythm. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. This looks like the art gallery. Let's go. Can we go anywhere else? Nope, let's go to the art gallery. Yep, slowly open the door. Hey, sleeping. Hello, sir. Hey, guy. Sir. Ooh, hello. Uh, I'll just leave my ticket here then, shall yep. I? Yep. Yes. Yep, yep. Yes, I guess I'll do that. Yeah, now let's go see where the hell is this fucking Cortez guy. Ooh, hey, can I look at some of them? It's a short, nude creature with a snout. Very inspiring. Mm, yeah, I guess. Oh, and there he is. Hey, Cortez, you son of a bitch. What do you want now? About time you showed up. Fuck you. About time? Yeah. I spent more than... Mira, this painting. I'm not Mira. Right here. Look. Why are you calling him Mira? You brought me all the way here to look at a painting. You brought me all the way down here to look at a painting? Yeah. Yes. But there's more. Just look at <sighs> Fine, I'll look at the painting. What am I looking what for? What am I looking for? What do you see? Guy hugging a girl. Kinda. He seems kind of either drugged out or sad. I see an oil painting, two humans locked in embrace. Mm, I don't know about embrace, these guys are not very happy. I see a statement. I see a statement of loss. I see a statement on loss. The guy, he's hugging a girl, and by all rights, he should be happy, but he's not. He's not happy. He's probably already mourning the loss of her, even though that's still somewhere in his future. Statements? Who cares about statements? <laughs> Tell me what you see. <sighs> okay, what? Okay, I see art. I see art. Art, yes. And beyond uh... art. Beyond art. Uh... Truth? Truth? Truth. Exactly. A deeper truth. This painting, this particular work of art, speaks a deeper truth. It has a soul. Okay. How can a painting have a soul? It has a soul because it has an identity. It has a heart. The memory of this painting will survive beyond this moment. 
It will linger in your mind, become part of the tapestry of your subconscious. It has made a lasting impression. What? And you're not quite sure why. It hasn't it's made a lasting a impression on me. Kid. It's not as if it's a Picasso or a yeah. Monet. Now your arguing technique. Not every painting by Van Gogh or Michelangelo is real art either. Although no, they all demonstrate true. great technique and, and craftsmanship. And the scribbled drawings of a five-year-old child are rarely technically impressive, but they may still have a soul. They may still be real art. This guy gets creepier every day. So you're saying real art is not defined by the skill of the artist? Then what is art? If just anybody can create something more real than artists who've spent their entire lives developing their skills? Art is still the work of artists. And skill, craftsmanship, technique, those things are critical to the success of an artist's work. But alone, those things are merely pretense. For something to be real, to be truthful, the artist must transfer, shift part of him or herself into the work to transcend the illusion and reach for the truth of art. That makes sense. And what is the truth of art? Who knows? I've been asking myself that question for years. Then why the hell are you asking me? Excuse me. Jesus. You don't even know? And what's all this about all the questions and lectures on truth and delusion? For that matter, why did you ask me to come down here in the first yeah. place? Because. Because. Actually, you didn't even ask me to come down. I spent my entire afternoon traveling all over Venice, deciphering a cryptic message, spending money I don't have on a subway ticket, only to have to stand here and listen to... to... You saw something this afternoon. A waking dream, and you can't explain it. That's why you are here, isn't it? I mean, it could have been all the paint fumes and stuff. <sighs> Didn't I tell you a story to of my personal life? How the hell do you know... How the hell do you know this? How the hell do you know these things? I'd like to know that. It's as plain as the day, Senorita Ryan. You're under a lot of stress. Maybe. My point about art and truth is this, April. Some things look real, but are not. And other things may appear to be of no consequence at all, but are in fact invaluable. Okay. Like Warren's painting here. And your dreams. There is both truth and illusion in dreams, and in the images they create. The problem is in sorting the one from the other. Okay. You're telling me my dreams are true? I'm telling you there are things afoot, and that you need help in sorting the truth this from the illusions. This is some kind of tree spirit or something. I help. Well, that figures. Good. I was hoping you'd understand. No. Actually, I didn't understand a single word. <laughs> you talk about art and truth no, and dreams stick. and illusions, and I still don't understand what it all has to do with me. There are things happening, yes, and I came here because I thought maybe you're crazy enough to believe me, to help me. I don't know, sort through the debris and come up with the plausible explanation. But no, you tell me my dreams might be true, that I need your help, and that there are things afoot. I mean, who says afoot? <laughs> I've never heard anybody use the yeah. word before. There are things afoot. Está bien. I understand your reluctance to believe me, senorita. But I cannot convince you here, now. Oh, God damn it. I'm not going to meet him tomorrow. What? Meet me tomorrow, and I will tell you everything. Okay, where do you want to meet? Not again. No way. I'll probably have what to. You will. Yeah. Because you are compelled to do so by your own curiosity. Because you are drawn to mystery. And because despite your skepticism, you believe I have the answer to all your questions. Yes? I think you just want to bond. No. No, I don't care. I just want to have a normal life. No nightmares, no visions, no strangers telling me that things are afoot. Comprende, amigo? <laughs> Comprende, amigo. You. Is that the time? I've got yeah, to yeah, find yeah, you. Ryan. Go. I'll see you tomorrow then. Uh, I said. Goodbye. Why does no one ever listen to her? Yeah, you gotta run real slow, like. Yeah. Oh, well. At least we got some answers, I guess. Okay, well, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here right now. And next time, let's see what we have for next time. We have to go work our shift, I guess. And I think you'll be in for a pleasant surprise. 
All right, guys, have a good one. April Ryan, you have got to get past yourself.